I don't even know how you could earn a living as a landlord in California. I don't, I don't even think it's a plausible business, right? Like, is that a realistic way to earn an income, renting out properties in the state of California? I don't think so, right? And maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'm not. But you know what I got? I got a business where I've sold $200 million worth of rental investments, and the majority of people that buy these investments – there are people like you who are trying to leave the business in the state of California because it's untenable. The tenants are freaking taking over and the government's making it happen. They're buying them votes with your rights, right? So let's get in to a property in a landlord-friendly area and how I can specifically help people like you, people from California, invest in deals just like this and avoid the socialist takeover. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks. This is the place to learn about real estate investing. Uh, definitely want you to subscribe just for that. You can utilize these strategies, the advice, the tips we give out here uh, in any market you want. And if you want to take it one step further, you could partner with us to actually do real live deals, get your own personalized videos. That's what my man Chuck in California did, right? I'm going to be going over strategy, market tips, and an actual deal for Chuck that my team will be able to manage, handle rehabs, handle the tenants, the whole shebang, right? So just so everyone's aware, I sent this video to Chuck privately a long time ago. So this deal's not available. So don't, like, try to buy it because you can't because we already sold it to Chuck. That's that's the point. So if you want to be Chuck on the next uh, episode there, click the link uh, under the video on your phone or your computer or whatnot and uh, book a call. My team will get you going, right? You, Chuck, you came to me because you're in Cali. And, dude, it's like, it's like, it's like communism over there, bro. <laughs> it, I don't know. How, how can you be a landlord in California, bro? Like, do you have, like, no rights, dude? Like, how does, like, eviction court work in California? The tenant goes, duh, this is my story. And then the landlord goes, duh, and then the judge goes, wait, boom, kicks the landlord right in the penis. Tenant wins. Like, I feel like that's how it works, right? Like, holy crap. So people like you, Chuck, and people like all the other investors out there, they come to people like me, people who work in the landlord-friendly markets, one of which is Cleveland. And that's what we're talking about. But here's the thing. It's not just Cleveland, Chuck. It's the Cleveland market, right? And if you're trying to escape communism, you're trying to escape landlord-tenant laws that are becoming incredibly skewed, making it hard uh, to be a landlord, you probably want to work with someone who can position you in the right place, right? So the Cleveland market, it's great. Uh, but there are parts of the Cleveland market that are more or less landlord friendly. There are parts of the Cleveland market that I think you can make more money than other parts, right? That's why you partner with me. That's that's the value I provide you. I steer you in the right direction. It's impossible to do that from California. I'm sure all of fucking Northeast Ohio looks the same to you. And yes, you kind of like California looks the same to me. Like I, I found out that like you know Los Angeles is like a shit ton of hour drive, like multiple hours from like LA to like Sacramento. It's like, I don't even know. I think it's like between four and eight. Like that's fucking insanely uh, far away. Like for me, if I drive more than four hours, I'm completely out of the state of Ohio. Right. But you know, it's all West coast. It all looks fucking same to me. Right. So I feel like you probably feel the same way about that. Right. Like we get people that talk to me like, Oh, what do you think about Cincinnati? Motherfucker. I don't think shit about Cincinnati. I have no fucking idea what the fuck they're doing in Cincinnati? I have fucking never been to Cincinnati. That shit is like four hours away. You know what I'm saying? Not my market, right? So from uh, California, it all looks the same to you, right? That's why you got to get with me and I really break it down, right? And I'm going to show you a sleepy little city that actually is right near Cleveland that I think is so much better to invest in today. Will that change? Absolutely. Real estate markets, living, breathing. It's a moving thing. Prices go up. Prices go down. Things shift, right? That's why you get me. I'm ahead of the curve on all of it, right? So, like, right now, though, for guys like you, Chuck, 
I think investing in an asset uh, in the city I've identified for you called Illyria is going to serve you better than picking up a similar property in the actual city of Cleveland. More on that and dollar for dollar how you structure this deal right after this. There are two sides to wholesaling. Bodacious marketing to attract motivated sellers and data-driven analytics. Together, they're a match made in heaven. This is our wholesaling course. Let the wicked buy the doors! Welcome back. Let's pull up the property, get into the details, man. Because I don't want you buying in Cleveland, right? I don't want you to do it! No Cleveland! I love Cleveland, folks. I love the Cleveland market. But right now, I think we need to zig when other people are zagging, right? When a good Cleveland deal pops up, of course, I'll want to present it. But right now, I think a lot of people are missing on Illyria. Another place I like a lot is Lorraine. But let's talk Illyria today. I think a lot of people are missing on Illyria, man. Like, you know, this is Wise TV, right? We got, as I talk to you, about 60,000 subscribers to the channel, right? And what we do, we talk real estate investing. And it's Cleveland, Cleveland, Cleveland. And I'm not saying just because of our 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 Holton Wise TV or this or that, just because of Holton Wise, the whole world knows about Cleveland investing. I'm not saying that. Like, we have a decent part in it. Don't get me wrong. But, like, national publications and things of that nature, people are always talking about Cleveland. When you read national articles, like, what's the best real estate market for cash flow properties? What's the best for landlords? They always say Cleveland, Cleveland, Cleveland. So everybody from all over the world that's traveling to the best markets looking for that cash flow, they narrow in on Cleveland, on Cleveland, on Cleveland, right? But Cleveland is just a small city in the greater area, right? It's, you know, several million people are here, but only like 350,000 actually live in Cleveland, right? But, you know, you hear Cleveland Browns, Cleveland Cavs, Cleveland this, Cleveland Rock Hall, like all this, right? Everybody just focuses on that. You forget about the suburbs and the surrounding cities. And one city that is just freaking slept on, dude, is Elyria. And that's why I got this one, 144 Abbey Road, Elyria, okay? Price, 89 grand. On the market, 67 days. Now, it was not on the market for 67 days, priced at 89 grand. They just dropped that, right? Had this been in Cleveland, it probably would have got picked up when it was the higher price, right? They had it uh, at like 100 Gs, right? In Cleveland, it probably would have got scooped up, right? But in Elyria, because there's just so much fewer investors paying attention, this old bitch didn't get scooped up. But now that it's at 89, I think it will definitely get scooped up. So I want you to come in hot. 90 grand, right? Come in 90 grand because I think they will get multiple offers now, right? Had this been in Cleveland proper, which in my opinion, a lot of the C-grade neighborhoods that I work in, in Cleveland itself, are probably a little bit lower quality tenant base than what you get out here in Elyria. But you would have had to pay about 10 grand more had you done it in Cleveland just because there's more supply of buyers out there because more people are aware of it, right? You can't buy something if you don't know it's for sale. You know what I'm saying? This property, already got two tenants in there, okay? Now, both tenants are paying under market rent, just so you're aware. Both tenants are currently paying five fifty. dollars We will want to slowly increase their rents up to market rate. We don't want to cause them to move out by immediately going to market rate, which is seven fifty dollars a unit. So when we get it up to market, 15 hundo comes in, eighteen dollars for the year, right? We don't just immediately go. Uh, with a huge $200 increase because that will cause them to move out. Then we got to, like, repaint their unit. Like, everything looks good in these units right now, right? But there's a lot of carpet in these units, man. When we move those beds, those couches, things of that nature, like, is there going to be, like, a spot where the couch was where it's, like, just, like, a shade lighter than the rest? If that's the case, we're going to have to replace it, of course, right? So you want to avoid unnecessary turnovers. But we should be able to just slowly get them up, right? But that's what you should focus on, the long-term cash flow of this property, right? So 15 hundo comes in. You should spend approximately eight thirty, having my team manage it completely passive, right? That's approximately eight thousand twenty nine a year, right? If you pay ninety, you only got to put down twenty two and a half, man. That's it, twenty two and a half, twenty two thousand five hundred dollars. Bank kicks in the under sixty seven. Long term projections here: twenty one percent cash on cash return, man. On top of that, Elyria, in my opinion, another reason you should focus on Elyria, because hey, we're zagging, other people are zagging. Uh, the city. Dealing with the city is a lot easier than dealing with the city of Cleveland, to be honest with you. They're a lot more landlord-friendly. You know what's going to make you money? Owning a property in a landlord-friendly area, right? Ohio, why do you guys come to Ohio? 
Because it's a red state, right? Well, guess what? Illyria is a hell of a lot more of a red city than Cleveland is, okay? So uh, all that stuff. Like even Cleveland's got the new lead laws and stuff. You don't have to deal with that kind of crap in Illyria, right? So my opinion, prices are lower. Tenant base a little bit better and city a little bit more landlord friendly. For all those reasons, I think Illyria, Illyria is the hot spot, right? So now that they've dropped us down to 89, I think now we come in aggressive. 90K, and I think it's a banger of a deal. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.